वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम संग्राम गाड़े फ्रॉम करार नगर परिषद स्कूल नंबर थ्री हियर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स ऑफ अवर सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द टॉपिक्स वी आर हियर ऑब्जर्व द टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ अवर सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड मैथमेटिक्स लुक हियर दिस इज द टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ अवर मैथमेटिक्स इट्स अ ग्रीन इन कलर इट्स अ कलर ऑफ नेचर एंड यू सी हियर there are so many equipment which you see in compass that is a set square protector then a pencil is here also there are the horizontals and a straight lines are here which make the square and uh, it uh, indicates clear indicates that these equipments are very useful for us and it makes math very funny and there are the pictures of uh, here comedy pictures of boys who play with that equipment set square and protector uh, protector here now we are going to back page of this cover look there is a game this is a game of a snake ladder what a funny game it but there is no snake no ladder then how can we play this game here there is there are the equations by solving these equations we goes to the 100 with the starting from 1 and we will when we will reach at the 100 we will this game here so this book of uh, sixth standard mathematics is very interesting and very funny and we will learn this books then uh, all the topics of books we make the fun here now friends we are going to learn the first lesson of mathematics standard 6 that is the basic concept in geometry The mathematics is divided into two parts. That is uh, algebra and geometry. But it is uh, totally equal uh, or integrated in all the textbook. It is not separated in the first two eight standard. In algebra, we learn the problems here, and in geometry, we learn the different types of shape like a triangle, rectangle, square, and all these and the properties of these. Here, the first lesson is the basic concept in geometry. now we will be going to the points in that lesson that is first point is a point you see here there is a tiny dot here this is also tiny dot we can draw with the help of pen or a sharp or a pencil here or also on the blackboard with the help of chalk we can draw a dot here that tiny dot is called as a point then how can we read this point here we have to name this point so we use the capital letter from a to b here this tiny dot is called as a point a then this is also tiny dot which is named as a capital letter t and this tiny dot is called as a point p here we read this point here how can we read this point point p then point a then point t i hope you understand that what is the point here the point means a tiny dot which can be drawn by a pen or a pencil now to understand this concept we will going to take an examples here look this is a triangle in previous standard we had learned how to read this triangle this is a triangle b a c or triangle c a b in many ways we can read this triangle this a this b and this c these are the vertices of this triangle but though they are the vertices they are points here it means that when we give the name to some shapes whether it is triangle or square or rectangle this point this vertices are called as a point it means that the point is the base of that shape or the figure now we take another example see you see here there is a circle and there are so many points in the circle on the circle and out of the circle in the circle this point called as the interior point of the circle it means that which are they can look here This is point B, then point P, then point O, then point X. These all points are in the circle, so these are the interior points of the circle. Now look here. This R point, then this N point, and this Q. These are on the circumference of a circle. And look here. 
this M, then A and point B are the outer of the circle. So these are called as the exterior point of the circle. It means that the geometry begins with the point and we have to give the name as a capital letter A to Z. I hope here you clearly understand what is meant by point. Point is a tiny dot which is drawn by a pen or pencil or a chalk. This is our first part that is point. Now we are going to next point. Line segment and lines. Look here. In this figure, we took a two points that is A and point B. With the help of ruler, we join these two points and make a line. There is a one question here. Can we extend this line? Yes, we can extend this, this line. Here, I extend this line with the help of dot. Here, you can understand that the line is made by also a small point here. It means that the point is the base of shape here. Here, at the point of A, we extended this line. At the point of B, we extended this line. There is no limit to extend this line here. What is the limit? The limit of a surface. Whatever the surface of our notebook, then surface of black hole, we have a limit of that surface, but we have no limit to how far we can draw a line here. It means that line segment and line, we have to, there is something different in line segment and line, we have to find out it. Now we are going to next figure here. Look here. At the first figure, there are only line from A to B. And next figure, we extended line from A and from B towards opposite direction. But there is a change. I draw here an arrow heads at the both side of this line. That arrow head indicates that this line cannot any limits here. It means that we extend this line to surface or edges of that piece of that paper or like book. Here, look here. I draw here another line like here. The P and Q. Also here I give the name small a. You can use here. We use the small letter here. I will tell about after it. Okay. Now first term here. That is in the first figure AB only line from, from point A to B. It means that this is a part of a line. That part of a line is called as a line segment. It means that the line is broken here from A to B. We cannot extend that line from A to B. And when we extend this line, then it is called as a line. Clear? We understand what is the difference between line segment and line. Line segment means it's a piece of line that is broken here from one point to another point. And line means we cannot ex uh, we extend it lines towards the surface of that area. It has no limit. Then we come to another point. We can clearly understand that the segment is a part of line and the line means we extend it forever. Now, how can we read the line segment and the line? The segment AB is written as say AB or say BA. It means that we can read or we can write here from both sides, from right to left or left to right here. And we can read the line, line PQ, which is written as line PQ or line QP. It means that from right to left or left to right. But there is another letter which is drawn by small letter that is L. It means that we also read the line only single small letter of from A to B. Do you understand what is the difference between line segment and line here? There is a simple difference that is line in segment is a piece of a line which cannot be extended and line means we can extend it as we wish or as the surface of that area, a surface of that paper or blackboard here. And how can we read that is say AB or say BA segment? It, is, it means that it is broken, so it is called as a segment here. And line 
we show by arrow heads at the both end of the point. So it is 9 PQ or 9 QP and we give a single letter name that is L or A. We come to next point here. Look at this picture here. This is the picture of the sun. You know the sun is shining in the sky at the date. The rays of the sun come from the sun towards the earth in all direction in a straight line. Look clearly. They come towards the earth in all direction. This shows that the sun rays come towards in all direction in a straight line. Line, the line concept is a straight line. Line is always straight. So, this sun rays come towards earth in a straight line. Now look at the another picture. This is the picture of a torch here. We use the torch at the night when there is a darkness. The rays starting from the torch and goes continuously in only one direction and in a straight line. That is the difference between the sun ray and the rays starting from the torch here. It goes from same direction. Then, the next point that is rays. What we call the rays? Rays means the line, it is the part of a line which started from one point and goes in a straight line continuously. Here there is also arrow. Student, I told you what arrow indicates. Arrow indicates that there is no limit. It means that rays go forward and forward and forward continuously only as the limit to the edges of that page or blackboard here. Then this ray started from P and goes towards it. So how can we read the rays here? We read the rays from ray P Q. Okay? Not from Q to P. In line we read that is P Q or line Q P but in rays we cannot read that is QP. Why? Because the ray is starting from this point. So this point is called as a origin where the ray started. So we have to read this ray that is ray PQ and it goes forward and forward and forward in a straight line. Do you understand? With the help of torch, you can also understand the how can rays go forward and forward in a straight line here. Student, there are some activities here. We learn the points, then a segment, line, and then rays here. Look here, there are so many lines which is drawn by dotted here. And this is a point. Here, P is a point. Now the activity is that you have to draw a line that passes through that point P. How many lines we can be drawn here? There is no limits. We can draw so many lines. It means that so many in mathematical language it is called as an infinite. Infinite, it has no limit. It means that we can draw so many or infinite, infinite lines which passes through a single point. So, we have to give that name to such types of a line and such types of a point here. An infinite number of lines can be drawn through one point. I show that in figure. And such lines, when two or more lines that pass through the same point, they are called as a concurrent lines. It means that the lines more than two have so many lines which goes from a single point. That lines are called as a concurrent lines. Do you understand what is mean by concurrent line here? You have to look the figure here. These are the concurrent lines here. It means that these, these lines, all these lines that passes through this single point. So all these lines are a concurrent line. And this point have also name. That point is called as a point of a concurrence. It means that the common point through which the line passes 
is called as a point of a concurrence. In this figure, we see here so many lines or infinite lines goes to that point P. So this point is called as a point of concurrence. Do you, do you understand both two points here? We had learned the two points that is concurrent line and point of concurrence. Clearly indicate here. I hope you understand. I uh, told again you that is the lines which passes through a single point that lines are called as a concurrent line and that point from which the, all these lines are passes that point is called as a point of concurrence. Next point here. Look here. There are nine dots in this picture here. Also you uh, when at the night you see the stars in the sky they are looking in this way. These are nine points here. If you observe clearly, we can draw here a line from a two points. Then we draw, we take a two points here, we can draw a single line into two points. Now look at the blackboard here. Now I took here a two points. First that is point A and another point that is point B. Now with the help of ruler, I can draw a line here that passes through this two point. It is named as line AB. How many lines we can be draw here that passes through two points? I take another example here. Now I took here another point that is C. Now I draw a line that passes through point A and C. How many lines can be drawn here? Here only one line goes from point A to B, these two points. Here also only one line that passes through two points that is A and B. Another we take the examples here. We took another point that is here B. Point B. And also I draw a line that passes through point B and D. Here also we can draw only one line, only single line that passes through these two points. It means that one and only one line we can draw that passes to two points. It means that only one line can be drawn by these two points. That is the property of that points. Look at the figure. There are nine dots. We see here there are only one and only one line that passes through these two points. Here if we join these two points, we get only single line. If we pass, draw a line, it join only two points here. Now, look here. This point, this point, this and this point. If we draw a line here, then all these points lie on a single line. Now look at the figure, next figure here. Look here. Now I give the name to that point here. Point A, point B and point C. They, are lie, they lie on a single line. It means that the point A, point B, point C and point B are on line and here. Also, I join these three points here. They also lie on a single line, line N, that is point H, point I and point C. But there is a two points, that is point F and G, which are only a single line. And it means that one and only one line that passes to any two points. Now look here, there are four points that lie on a one line, line or a single line. These points have also name. Now these points are called as a collinear points. It means that the points which lie on a single line are called as a collinear points. Now we go to figure these points are not uh, are not lie on this line. This is separated. F and G are not lie on this line. So the points which not do not lie on a single line 
are called as a non collinear points now we go to the definition that is two points here collinear points and non collinear points that collinear points and non collinear points here i say that one and only one line can drawn through any two distinct point here then three or more points which lie on a single straight line are said to be collinear points and the points which do not lie on the same line are called as a non collinear points do you understand collinear points and non collinear points collinear points mean that points which lie on a single straight line and non collinear points which does not lie on, lie on that line are called as a non collinear points next planes look here please. this is a picture of table and this is a black hole this is a cylinder okay. now observe the surface of that table surface of that black hole and the surface of cylinder if we observe the surface of table it is a flat surface the surface of black hole also flat the surface of our slate it is also flat now look at this surface here. the surface of a cylinder it is a curved surface now what is mean by plane now we are going to the definition of plane the flat surface is called as a plane flat surface look here this is the surface of table here drawn and how can we read it we will use the capital letter from from a to z that is h here also there is a you understand that what the arrow indicate i have told before the line segment and line that arrow indicates that we extend it it has no limit in such way that the plane it has no limit we can extend it in all direction so it is written as a plane h the plane is the sing, uh, simple figure that is its a surface of any things not the surface it's a flat surface the flat surface is called as a plane do you understand plane you understand plane means aeroplane no it is it's a not a aeroplane it's a figure of geometry it is called as a plane here now we go to next point parallel lines here the picture of our notebook there are so many lines if we extend it this line they goes forward and forward can they meet each other no if we extend it they will just go straight and straight and what because the distance between two lines remains the same they will not meet each other such types of the lines are called as a parallel lines means the line which goes forward they will not meet each other and uh, thus uh, these lines are called as a parallel lines we go to the definition of parallel lines the lines which lie in a same plane that is the picture of notebook that is a plane surface but do not intersect each other intersect it means that not meet it meet each other not cross each other it is in mathematical language it is called as a intersect If but do not intersect each other are said to be parallel lines mean is goes forward and forward and forward but they do not meet each other such lines are called as a parallel lines now students here what we understand in this topic we are going to take our revision here going to recall here the first the basic concept in geometry the first that is the point point means a tiny dot which can drawn by the pen or pencil then line segment and line line segment it is a part of a line which is broken and line means we can extend it more and more at the both end then rays rays means it is it has origin and it goes in one direction then concurrent lines that the lines which passes through only a single point these lines are called as concurrent line and that point is called as a point of concurrence then collinear points the points that lie on a single straight line these points are called as collinear points non collinear points the points which does not lie on a single line these points are called as non collinear points then 
plane, plane means a flat surface is called as a plane and then parallel line, the line do not intersect each other, goes forward and forward, and that is called as a parallel line. In, in this way, we had learned here the basic concept in geometry. Now, you have to do a practice set first of this lesson. Thank you.